Hello, hello, hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Yes, hopefully you all have landed on the bright side of this moon in Aquarius, headed towards this last quarter moon. But hopefully you're still there just enjoying every single day. I hope that you all set your intentions to have a great day. And that's only what you're holding space for. So let's get into your general reading. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below along with the title of this book in case you care to know let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it all right a card jumped out of the deck the two of swords all right all right the two of swords what is going on what is going on what is going on we also have the star card the queen of cups we also have the page of pentacles the ace of swords and the strength card right so here are your major arcana here we have the star card and the strength card to all of my leos and also happy birthday to my leos hopefully you all are partying like rock stars even if you're by yourself hopefully you're just in a posture of gratitude and just grateful that you made another trip around the sun right Yes, absolutely. So, and I'm still waiting on those. I'm still waiting on the books from the author. So as soon as I haven't forgotten, just want to let you all know, just right up front before we even get you started your rooting, I haven't forgotten. We're still doing the giveaway. It's still Leo season, right? So as soon as I get the books, I'll let you all know right away. All right. So we have the two of swords and the ace of swords, the two of swords and the ace of swords. We also have the page of pentacles and we have the queen of cups, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so let's talk about the, the ace of the ace of swords and the two of swords first and foremost. So it looks like to me, okay, tapping into your own strength and kind of just watering your own earth, meaning like you are kind of sort of shaking up your foundation a little bit and this is this very nurturing energy. And we'll get to the Queen of Cups in just a second, but let's look at this two of swords and the ace of swords here. The Ace of Swords is really all about um, logically facing the truth, you know, analyzing someone else's motives. Like, why are you, after all of the purging that you all did, why why are you in my face again, <laughs> right? Why, why do you want it? Why are you in my space, right? So taking those blindfolds off and not ignoring other people and denying your feelings and that kind of thing will allow you to see face the truth about a situation like somebody just doesn't want to believe something about something like it's just that shocking i just don't want to believe that i don't want to believe this about somebody take the blindfolds off so that you can see so that you can have a breakthrough because it's in that holding space for the i can't believe and i don't want to believe that it's blocking things for you that you've been asking for you certainly can have a compassion for a person this is the um, Queen of Cups. You certainly can have compassion for the person. You can say, you know what, I am, I'm emotionally content. Like I'm okay with the situation of seeing, knowing what I now know about somebody, um, and just just releasing it, releasing it into the universe, whatever. I, because in the meantime, somebody's been waiting on a message about some money, right? And just staying stuck in a place where I, I just gotta, I gotta be blinded to the truth about a situation is what's blocking somebody's money. So not only do you try to block the bad things that you've seen already that you just don't want to believe, you're also blocking out seeing your money come your way. So somebody has been waiting on some money to come their way, but in the meantime, do things to nurture yourself. Like I said, it's your birthday season. Um, tap into your strength. You know, you may want to, may not want to believe some things about some energies, but you want you want to take those blindfolds off because you'll be able to see the good and the bad things coming your way. Plus, your ancestors all around you to help you through this whole process, right? They're, they're right around you to help you through the entire process so that you don't have to be in that space of just, I can't believe, uh, you know, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I don't, I don't want it. I don't, this doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Okay. So, um, what a lot of people don't, are, don't want to believe about something, because again, it, it just, it seemed like it's just, this is okay. This doesn't make any sense, but are you all are familiar by now with the term shape shifting, right? So it's the ability to physically transform oneself through an inherently superhuman ability, divine intervention, demonic manipulation, sorcery spells, or having inherited the ability, right? So it's not always a bad thing. And what I'm seeing here is 
for some of you all, it's it's like you don't want to believe something about a person, place, or thing. Like I it just it I can't wrap my head around something. And again, only take what resonates with you. That's where you're gonna have a come to self meeting when you say, Okay, let me face the truth about a situation so I can move beyond this. I didn't want to believe it, but it's time for me to get back on my throne. We have the page of swords, the king of swords, the moon card, the seven of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the full card. This is where you want to get your ego out of the way. Part of the reason why somebody doesn't want to believe something that they found out about somebody is because of your ego. I can't believe I didn't see that. I, I just can't believe it. I just don't want to believe it. Really? Here, something was exposed, right? This moon card right here. Something was exposed. A secret was exposed. I just don't want to believe that. You know? Like you get news of you get news about something or somebody, and it's just so shocking to you. Just like I, I need some more proof. I need some more this. I need some. I just I don't believe it. I I just don't believe it. Right? But we have the King of Swords and we have the Page of Swords. This lets me know that you all are wise enough to make it make sense. Right? This is a person who is going to take some direct action to take these blindfolds off. Take those sores down. Stop being so defensive about a situation and listen to, to wisdom and say, I need to get back on my throne. I need to get back on my throne and get as far away from this energy as possible. We have the um, page of swords. So this is a person who is at the almost at the end of a very, um, could have been a very challenging time, like a person walking a tightrope, a lot of anxiety, a lot of challenges, frustration, but you're almost at the end if you haven't already reached the end, Leo. Again, you're walking back to your, you know, somebody has been through so much anxiety, it may have even aged you a little bit, but you're going back to your throne and you have all these fresh new ideas, you have this childlike energy. When I say childlike, I'm like, you're like a teenager again, you just kind of have all these like fresh ideas like that's this experience that you went through of something you didn't want to believe really kind of put made you feel like you put on some eight you know some years like it took you through this journey right but you can defend the reason why you decided to sever ties with something right it could have been a job it could have been a friendship or some kind of some kind of something under the relationship umbrella you can actually defend it right this is the seven of wands and this is really about being confident that you can defend your views you know, winning something, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, severing ties with something, just not wanting to believe something and then coming to terms with it, right? And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles, right? And so Queen of Pentacles energy is about being very well connected, very down to earth. You're nurturing, you're warm hearted. You, uh, your resources are sort of like on the, as the slang term is on the come up right you're being you're um connecting with more people you know and so um like i said before somebody is in this this space of uh being optimistic about something you know like watering your own soil leos right so again you've decided to move on from a situation like i said something was exposed you decided to move on you know, emotionally, you had a feeling about something, something was exposed, and you just decided, I need to move on from this. I need to just move on from it, keep my vibrations high. Maybe didn't want to believe some things, but hey, here it is, boom, right in my face. Let's see what else we have going on. Let's see what else we have going on. You know that the moon in Aquarius, for you as a fire sign, lends imagination and common, you know, common touch to your dynamic personality as it is, right? So... This is a wonderful time for people in the public life. So whatever you do publicly, this is going to be a great time for you to take those blindfolds off and get back on your throne, the Queen of Pentacles, and then also the Queen of Cups. You have, you have this creativity, this abundance of creativity for you causes a lot of compassion towards something, but you're also emotionally content with the situation and the energy of money is very very attracted to you and you'll see your in the increase in your money increase in your connections when you come to terms with something something that you just didn't want to see something that you didn't want to believe right like i said something was exposed you had a feeling about something it was exposed the sooner you come to terms with it the sooner you'll start seeing some major changes happen for you here we have the seven of swords uh-huh this is like, like, you know, sort of keeping things to yourself, you know, maybe somebody was cheating or somebody was manipulating you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you're taking the high road. 
at a higher frequency, the things that you've been praying for are going to be released sooner to you. But if you vibrate low with them, then, hey, you may be throwing yourself into a karmic cycle. But I don't see you doing that. I see you just kind of sort of taking some secrets with you and just moving on, moving on from some things. So, yeah, let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here, Leos. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Again, whatever you discovered, whatever you had a feeling about that was exposed, like I said before, don't let it destroy your, your celebration of yourself. Don't let it destroy the plans that you already had. So just stay focused, right? So somebody, like I said, somebody's been waiting on some news about some money. Keep your vibrations very high because it'll be released to you sooner. And I want to make sure you're able to see it. You know, at a lower frequency, you won't be able to see it. That means that you're so distracted by something that you had a feeling about. And now you saw this thing. Like you saw this energy. You Like you saw, it. it's like, okay. I'm so distracted. I got to stay down here. And now I'm in this low vibrating space. You don't need to be in a low vibrating space for anything. You don't. You really don't need in a low vibrating space. You don't need to be arrogant. You don't need to be inflexible. You don't need it to be so emotionally draining that you feel lazy. You don't need to be jealous of anything. And you don't need to see anybody as competition. Raise your frequency. Get back on your throne. Raise your frequency. At a high frequency, and at the highest frequency meaning love, right? God frequency. And I'm talking about agape love. You have the ability to see something shift their shape before it happens. You see it because you see it coming up the road. What was that? <laughs> okay, but anyway, so so we saw shape shifting in cartoons. You know, when you're younger, you see it in cartoons where uh, Bill Bixby turn into, turns into the Incredible Hulk, and you have uh, what's his name, Clark Kent turns into Superman, and you see you've seen it. You know, even in I guess today's cartoon, I haven't watched I haven't watched television in many years, but anyway, but you see the shape shifting, right? So in this, if you're going to shape shift, you're not going to shape shift into something low vibrational. This is where you're going to shape shift and being your own superhero. If you're going to shape shift into that, you're going to save yourself from a situation by, like I said, walking away from something. And, you know, keeping things to yourself, saying, hey, I, I saw what I needed to see. I had a feeling about something. I, I saw what I needed to see. Let me move on from it. Let me just move on from it. Let me go ahead and sever ties, take my power back and move on, right? Seven of Wands. Yep, Seven of Wands, right? This is a, a person who is, you know, got your, your solar plexus chakras back in alignment. You can actually defend why you, you can defend your decision, yeah, you're confident, right? You can defend your views, right? You know that, hey, I was right about something. I knew I wasn't going crazy. All right, I can defend it now that it's been exposed by God. It's a difference between somebody gossiping and then God exposing something, right? You ever hear stories, uh, Leo, about somebody saying, okay, I, I got a feeling that something is off. Like, I'm, I got on, I, I can't see it, though. I can't, and it comes to you in a dream. Or, like, you come across a text message or email that you really weren't supposed to see. And you think, oh, my God, I saw this by accident. It wasn't by accident. God wanted you to see something, right? Yeah, God wanted you to see something, right? I was about to name something. <laughs> I was about to share something with you all that you probably already saw in, uh, already saw because it, 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 I really, I really don't want to bring it up because it's so twisted and so ridiculous. But I'm going to say it anyway. Y'all saw the recent uh, thing about Irv Gotti and Ashanti and her dating Nelly at the time, right? He went on Drink Champs, and I don't know if you all are familiar with it, but he went on, Irv Gotti went on Drink Champs and he said something about uh, God told him, it, it, if it wasn't for God, he wouldn't have found out that Ashanti was cheating on him. Well, it's not cheating because he technically he was still married. That's why I didn't want to bring it up because I said, okay, that's kind of ridiculous. But that's sort of an example where God allows you to find out something that you weren't aware of. Even though there's a lot of other layers to peel back from that. But like I said before, you can defend why you've made a decision to cut something off or cut somebody or something off. It could be a person, place, a thing that you're cutting off. But nevertheless... It's all good because it's all God. So he was true, or God, he was true when he said that God wanted him to find something out. It's just everything else surrounding it, right? It's just, you know, just the whole situation was just really, really messed up. But again, 
when I look at this, when I look at this and I see that you all are at the end of a very challenging situation, anytime you cut somebody off or cut a job off or cut a whatever you decide to sever ties with that you decided I'm taking the blindfolds off so I can see this thing for what it really is somebody's going to feel like they lost out on something but for you like I said before we have it twice right it came out twice you're able to defend your decision to sever to sever ties with something right you had a feeling about it God exposed it you made, you took an action, and now so it's time for somebody to heal. Like I said, you have compassion for a situation, but you decided to move on from it. You decide, you say, I'm, I'm not mean-spirited. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm just rising, rising above it. I'm tapping into my strength. I'm nurturing myself during this time. I'm taking the, like I said, I don't feel foolish. I may have felt foolish in the past because I really wasn't able to put my finger on whatever it was. But now that it's been exposed... I'm taking the high road. I'm optimistic. I'm looking forward to my future. I'm excited, you know, about some things that I'm moving forward, right? So, yeah, let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Let's get some Oracle cards out here and let's move forward. Let's get some Oracle cards and let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. A time to give rather than a time to take, right? It's a time to give yourself a break. You've already analyzed the situation every which way you could. That's why you see Virgo right here. It doesn't have nothing to do with a Virgo, you know. But again, this is about, you may have Virgo in your chart. You've analyzed the situation from top to bottom, left to right, however, all the way around. And you realize, hey, you know what? I need to give myself a break. I need to start listening to my intuition. My intuition told me this a thousand times. I would not listen. I was blinded to the truth about something. I wouldn't even listen to the people that Source kept sending to me saying, you need to pay attention about something. I still wouldn't listen to it. So God had to expose it. And so when God exposes it, can't be denied. It cannot... It cannot. So, yes, yeah, somebody is left to, you know, um, nurture themselves through this process. And so in nurturing yourself, you know, like I said, you know, truth was revealed about something. And um, you're starting to feel truly in touch with this is about you healing yourself, healing all those dark spaces. You're starting to be truly in touch with your your intuition. Yeah, truly in touch with your intuition burning bowl ritual somebody is going to be doing a burning bowl ritual writing a letter to self apologizing saying you know i let my ego take over my gift i didn't want to believe something but now that it's here all right let me write a le letter to myself and it's a letter to actually to source apologizing to source inside of you saying that, you, that you'll never doubt your intuition again about something you knew you were spot on about something and so yeah so here it is i am wealthy Number 88 means I am wealthy. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. That's why I said somebody needs to take the blindfolds off, face the truth about a situation so you can also see your abundance coming your way. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. Yep, that's right. That's right, that's right, that's right. Let's see one last message for my Leos before we close this up, before we wrap this up. Yes. Let's let's one last thing before we wrap all of this up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, seven of pentacles. There's been a lot of growth here. That's why you're going to see growth in your money because again, you could expose something, but you say, "No, I'm taking the high road. I'm taking the secrets with me. You don't even have to worry about me trying to expose anything. I'm moving on, right?" And so you're going to see a, more money come across your path more abundance come across your path just because of it. Again, you're taking the high road, being very classy about a situation that you could have exposed. But this is what I have for you, Leos. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you all for landing on the bright side of the moon. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye.